probably a lot of you think nothing ever interesting could happen on a farm on Ken. And for the most part, you'd be right. Nothing really has. That is, until one day, a horrendous tornado swept through the mountain and took my Aunt Dorothy to a mystical place called Ah. Uh, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me, let me first introduce you to... Line. Look, I, I know you said that during a real performance, I, I wouldn't be able to ask for a line, but I need a line. I think this giving me my line would be better than holding up a show like this, so. Line? Line? Hello, guys, is, is anyone there? Is, is Mr. Clores even here? <laughs> Does anyone have a copy of the script? Katie, you, you have a copy of the script, right? What do you mean you have a copy of the script? I don't have a script. But you're the stage manager. How do you not have a copy of the script? I don't know. I just don't. How are you doing the show? <laughs> okay, this is just... Okay, Jackie, stop. Just finish your mom on and then get off stage and you can pick the play. But I don't know my lines. Where's Mr. Ford? He left. He said he had an eyebrow. Competition and our teacher adapted himself, but it's uh, it's kind of a mess. I mean, we never really got through tech, and our director was never really around, so yeah, it, it's like really a mess. I mean, for Pete's sake, I'm playing Farmer Ben, the nephew of Dorothy. Who even is that? He's not in the movie or the book. It's just a character my teacher made up to make it easier to follow. But if anything, it's just way more confusing, especially since I forgot my lines. And I'm laughing. Uh, um, I have to do this again at the end of the show, which I swear I'll have the last monologue memorized. I'll the entire play to just sit back and, and make sure it's memorized, but uh, for now, sorry, I, I got none. <laughs> Has it been two minutes yet? <laughs> a anyone? No? Oh, uh, Alright, um, I, I don't really know what else to talk about, but... Uh, does anyone watch Game of Thrones? <laughs> I'm not allowed to watch it, but I, I got my cousin's password to HBO Go, that's why I've been watching it. It's awesome. It was some parts of it are like really, really gross. Overall, it's, it's just awesome. I really like the dragons. Waka Waka. That's a classic bear from, from the Muppets. Yeah, I, I don't know why I said that. I, I'm just going to leave now. I hope you enjoyed our one act version of Wizard of Oz. Sorry, 
I know, I know. I'm an awful parent and I'm ruining your life, right? <laughs> Thank you. A house fell? <laughs> A house just fell in the middle of Munchkinland and killed the Wicked Witch of the East. Hurrah! The Wicked Witch of the West is dead! Of oh, the East! Of oh, the East is dead! <laughs>
I do. I'm a talking scarecrow. <laughs> a talking scarecrow? Step me down, will you? I've been stuck up here for the longest time. <laughs> Thank you. I can't believe you can walk and talk. Can you? Oh, no. <laughs> That'd be great, yeah. except I made it. Hey. <laughs> what I really need is a brain. Oh, you don't have a brain? I'm full of nothing but stuff in it. <laughs> Say, Toto, do you Bar. think... Nice. <laughs> be able to think. Bar. Say, Scarecrow, we're going to go see the Wizard of Oz. He's going to help us get back to Kansas, and maybe he can help you, too. That'd be great. <laughs> I really need a brain. Uh, if I only had a brain. I could while away the hours, converted with the flowers, consulted with the rain. Bye -bye. <laughs> and my head. I'd be scratching while my thoughts were busy hatching. What are you doing? You can't do that. Do what? Sing. Can't sing. No. But I'm singing to you about how. Well, you can't. This isn't the musical version. It's not the musical. No, this is just the play version. How do you go know this whole time thinking of rehearsing a musical? Because I thought all plays had songs. Oh, so, so, wait, hold on. You're telling me that there are plays where people just talk? Yeah, there are. Like thousands of plays. The majority of plays. This play! <laughs> so stupid. The stages are for singing and dancing, you know, singing and dancing. Not boring, talky, talky habitations. How would you go this entire time thinking we're rehearsing a musical? Uh, I don't know. I just assumed we'd go home and learn the songs on our own time. <sighs> what? You're an idiot. Look, look, let me just learn the song and then... No, you can't. We don't have the rights. The rights. <laughs> the song you're about to sing, it's from the movie. We can't sing any song or do anything that's from the movie. I'm sure some lawyer in the audience has already called the copyright police. And the infringement of intellectual property. That's right! Stop! <laughs> you mean I learned it for nothing? Yeah, I'm afraid so. So, how am I supposed to explain my feelings? You're just gonna have to tell me. Plain old words. No singing, no music. Dancing? No dancing either. <laughs> this is gonna be so boring. The play both be a little boring. Just, <laughs> just trust me. This isn't my first play. This isn't even my first lead. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, like I said, I need a brain. Okay. That's pretty much it. Anyway, can you take me to see the wizard? Sure, let's go. They're off to see the wizard. <laughs> 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 Sorry. We're off to see the wizard. The wonderful wizard of Oz. Because, because, because. <laughs> the wonderful <laughs> thing to see that song. Oh God, these are dumb lyrics about the music. Sure, I can't sing every bit of notes. No. <laughs> <laughs> in Oz, monkeys flying, houses falling. I have been told by the great and powerful Oz to be on high alert. Yes, sir. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, hey. I was just going to wait for my scene with Dorothy. I didn't want to miss it. Has she come through yet? I don't know. She's not in this scene. You're on stage. Well, do you mind if I just wait here? Because I don't know when I come in. No. <laughs> Yes, sir. Good. Oh, one thing. Yes? 
I have received a message from Mopsy, the Munchkin Courier of Munchkin Land. Ah, oh, yes, I know Mopsy well. About Yehi, a high soprano singing voice, a good girl, and a great courier. What's she saying? Well, she said it was a very secret and urgent message, and that I should tell the great wizard myself. In person. Uh, don't be silly, Private. You've neither my authority nor the permission to talk to him. Simply tell me, and I will tell the wizard. Uh, but, sir, it's a very secret. Enough of this. I demand an officer, and I demand you tell me now. Okay, sir, but you must take it to him at once. It's very important. His very life could depend on it. Yes, yes, important and all that. Now, what is it? Well, Mopsy said that the Wicked Witch of the West... Excuse me, gladly. Excuse me, gladly. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I apologize for the interruption. This is our biannual fire and safety alarm test. I repeat, this is our biannual fire and safety alarm test. There is no need to go outside or panic. This is simply a test. And we'll be over shortly. Thank you. <laughs> Anyways, so what did Mopsy say? Ah, uh, yes, well, Mopsy! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I do apologize for the interruption. This is part two. <laughs> All alarms and drills must be tested and run at least twice. Thank you again for your patience. <laughs> okay, so what did Mopsy say? Oh uh, yes, well Mopsy is an ungood authority that the Wicked Witch of the West... <laughs> Mopsy say? Oh, uh, yes, Mopsy say. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I was back there and I was, I was trying to decide whether I should say that I uh, I accidentally hit that or that was on purpose. And I I think I should tell the truth. That that third alarm, that one that just went off, you heard that? That was an accident. My hand slipped. It wasn't part of your alarm. I'm sorry. It's just human error. <laughs> so uh, just go on with your show. <laughs> okay, quickly. What did Mopsy say? Oh, uh, what? Uh, you realize that now, at least you know, that the alarms all work. All the alarms and circuits are working perfectly. So, if there's an error, it would be a human error. So, if there's a fire and a bunch of people die, it's not the fault of the equipment. It's a person's fault. Maybe my fault. <laughs> Why not? Everything's my fault nowadays, according to my wife. Why <laughs> not? <laughs> okay, sorry. I'm gone. I won't interrupt anymore. <laughs> Mopsy? Yes, Mopsy said that the Wicked Witch is the way that was a little weird what I just said that just, just now. Yeah, that was a little weird. And a lot to put on you. I realize, yeah. See, the thing is, it's been a bad month. Yeah, my, my wife left me. I mean, I mean, why not? Why shouldn't she leave me? I mean, I'm always messing things up, aren't I? I mean, if I can't, if I can't run a simple alarm test without, you know, hitting it too many times and blabbing, I mean, I don't deserve to be married, right? Right? I've got to go, please. No. Anyways, I'm just going to go. <laughs> okay, I admit 
that last one was a mistake again in my hand, which I think it slipped, but, but that, that's it. See, I'm, I'm leaving the desk. I'm not doing this job anymore. I'm, I'm going to do something entirely different. And you should know, I just got a text from my wife. She wants to talk. That could be good, right? I mean, I'm not trying to read anything into it, but that could be good, right? Anyway, um, yeah. So, okay, we're all good. Everything's good. The alarms work. I'm done with this. And you know what? I just hit that again and it didn't go off. I just, let me just. Okay, we're good. We're good. The test is now. Oil can. Oil can. Oil can. No? Did I get the wrong scene again? Hello, anybody? Yeah, I don't think this is my scene. Uh, this never happened. The ghetto is ever on stage. Good guy, 
I don't give a poop. Nice father who can't go with my kids. If you want to work here, close! You think this is loose? You think this is abuse, you stupid jerks? I can go out there with the materials you got, make myself $15,000 tonight in two hours. Can you? Can you? Go and do likewise. Get mad, you sons of jerks! Get mad! Okay, we will! I promise we'll sell more real estate while we're here! We both will. I wish you good luck, but you wouldn't know what to do with it once you got it. It is your question, pal. Why am I here? I'm here because Mitch and Murray's sent me. They asked me for a favor. I said, the real favor. Fire your sorry butts because a loser is a loser! Tiptoe from behind. 
line, and when the moment is right, I'll flip and flip and somersault and grab Scarecrow. Well, show me your flipping and tumbling skills. I have to make sure you're up for the task. Prepare to be amazed by my flipping flips, monkey style. <laughs> If ever, oh, ever a wizard was, the Wizard of Oz is one because... I see what you're doing! Because... Stop! Because of the wonderful things he does. <laughs> Here comes the great and powerful Wizard of Oz! <laughs> I am Oz, the great and powerful, who dares to enter my hall. Really? <laughs> what are you doing? What happened to Joe? What happened to the giant flames and the real projection and the booming voice? Joe, don't look at that guy. The library borrowed our projector and Margaret said no real flames on stage, which I kind of get. So, <laughs> that was your plan? The great and powerful Wizard of Oz is now supposed to be just a balloon. You're lucky I have this. I found out two minutes ago and grabbed a sharpie. You know what, maybe I should go backstage and no one yells at me there. Hey. This would be a really great time to have a song. No. <laughs> Jack, be a professional. Me? Me? I'm the most professional one here, and here I am just like a giant dog. I'm going to Juilliard next year. Would you just shut up? We're going to finish this scene. Hey, try and be a little more terrifying. You're the great and powerful Wizard of Oz. You need something to work on? Okay, I'll try. <laughs> I'll get you, my pretty. <laughs> oh. No, I meant it. Oh, I meant it. No. What are you doing? We're not even in that scene yet. <laughs> are we not? Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I could have sworn. No! <laughs> okay, it's a good idea. Look, let's jump ahead. Look, we killed the witch and uh, here's the witch's broom. We did it. Yay. <laughs> There's no place like home. Hey, what about my friends? You have great. You've had them the whole time. You need confidence. Uh, oh. Uh, are you sure? Because I have this really good song. No, you have to I could fly all the way. Hey, you lazy dopes! <laughs> what did I tell you? Always be closing. Well, are you trying to anyway? If you just A B C, <laughs> A always B B. Would you shut up? You're just confusing the X. Somebody say oil can. <laughs> 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 the 
already <laughs> did that part, you worthless dummy. Hey, we call it a dummy. Oh, I'm sorry. How about heartless idiot then? <laughs> well, that's a little harsh. I can't believe I missed my cue again. What scene is this? We just melted the witch. Yep, sorry, you missed your big moment. So if you don't mind, let me do it right gonna... now. Even if, even if it doesn't make sense, cool? Alright, oil can. <laughs> <laughs> oil can. Oh, Dorothy, what's with all the yelling? Oh, no, I'm not yelling. I just find it a little frustrating that this is the climax of the play and nothing is going right for me. Nothing. I mean, I did my part, I memorized my lines, and I practiced, and I rehearsed, and I am giving a stellar performance. <laughs> you, you keep saying lines from a different play, and you won't stop singing, and you never come out at the right time, and there's fire alarms going off, and Ashley's mom keeps telling everyone how bad I am. This is exactly why my mom should be shooting out the fire. But that's not a real hand you know. Oh, and on top of that, the stage manager comes out as the great and powerful Oz with a balloon. A balloon. Okay, I get it. You did the best you could considering Joe DeLuca has pink eyes for like, what, the tenth time this year? I mean, how many times in one year can a guy get pink eyes? Answer me that, stage manager. Wearing your little crop book is the answer to that. What about you, Scarecrow? Did you know? Do you? <laughs> Forget it. Oh. You're a supporting actor. I'm the lead. The lead. <laughs> Can nothing go right in this play for me? Nothing? <laughs> Stop trying to comfort me, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing that comfort me is, is. There. Ha. The wizard is dead. The witch is dead. This whole production is dead. And I. For real, Dorothy out. <laughs> so, can I sing my song now? <laughs> Heck no! Get out there and start hitting your numbers. Good game, man. Good game. <laughs> <laughs> well, folks, it's me again, Kumar Ben, and, and that's just how my Aunt Dorothy told it to me. Now, a lot of folks don't believe me. They think it's just a bunch of nonsense and that it's bullshit, but what I think is... <laughs> hey, wait! 